It's been just over two weeks since the mile high shift in Denver. A big change in the traffic pattern on I-70 as part of the continued Central 70 project. And our traffic expert Jason Luber is joining us today to talk about what we've seen already. I mean, I don't drive I-70 that often, Jason. So, so I'm sure this is already a big change for the people who use this regularly. It is because you're not seeing the same pattern that you were used to seeing for 60 years driving on that elevated portion. So now when you're driving on eastbound I-70, especially for the eastbounders going out towards the airport, you're making that big shift to the left to get into that new lowered section, and then it feels tighter in there because the lanes are more narrow, the shoulders are very, very small, and so when you ever you're driving in, in an area, and this is a traffic technique to slow down traffic, you make the drivers feel uncomfortable. You make them feel like they're in a small spot, naturally they start slowing down. It happens in big cities where they're yeah. trying to make people slow down. Well, it can happen the same thing on the highway, and that's exactly what's happening right now on I-70. So as folks are going eastbound, they make that shift right by the Brighton Boulevard area, right by the Denver Coliseum. They go down into the lowered section into that tunnel area, and they slow down. And so I'm every day now seeing a new normal where folks are going eastbound slower than average all the way to about Colorado Boulevard. So is it taking longer for people who use this as part of their regular commute? Yes, by about an extra 10 to 15 minutes mm. right now. And it will probably be that way through the summer and through the fall. Right now they're continuing the demolition of the old right. bridge, the elevated portion. Once that is all done, they're going to continue to uh, clear out all the dirt for the new eastbound lanes and eventually it's going to be nice. It's going to be wide. You're going to have 12 foot wow. wide highway lanes. You're going to have wide shoulders. It's going to feel more comfortable in there when right now we're using the west section for the east and westbound nice. traffic. It eventually will just carry the westbound traffic and you'll have your own eastbound side and it will feel more comfortable. You'll see traffic flow better. Are you noticing in the mornings any change in accidents in that area right now? No, we haven't seen because usually folks are going too slow to get into a crash, but people can get still get in a crash even at five mm -hmm. miles an hour. But I'm seeing folks for the most part behaving nicely uh, through that section of I-70, whether it's through that lowered section. It's mostly on the east section of I-70 between basically Quebec over to about 225 and Chambers where there is still some work going on. I see the majority of crashes in there. Folks are merging at Peoria and 225. Mm. People are merging there at Chambers and 225, especially in the eastbound side trying to get to the airport. As traffic at the airport is picked up, more people are driving out there mm, and there's yeah. more conflicts with folks coming off of 225 Chambers Peoria. That's a really tough intersection right in there. And so we see a lot of crashes, unfortunately. What is the, what are the next steps that we're going to see through the summer? So what we're going to see is the elevated portion continue to the demolition and it's really tricky for them because in some areas that elevated portion, the old portion of I-70, is actually within about a foot or so of the Purina plant. And so they have to be real delicate on not having any of that, the equipment or the, or the debris coming down on the plant or on some of the homes mm. or businesses that yeah. are in right there next to the elevated section. So that's going to continue. Then they're going to start digging it out. We're also going to see some continuing work between Colorado and Quebec, that, se that center portion, portion of the I-70 uh, Central project, as well as finishing out the east side. Um, the east side is mostly done, but they still have a little bit of work done, uh, to work to do out there. But it's really that western section that most people will see stuff happening, but there's a lot of stuff still left to do for the I-70 Central project. Well, Je we just want to make sure you still are going to be employable, Jason. Oh, yeah, right. For the long term here. <laughs> right. I, when COVID hit, I was worried. I yeah, thought I was, no, no one's ever going to drive I was again. Too. I was too. <laughs> so, so, so we're glad, glad to see us moving beyond the pandemic, even yes. if it does mean that more of us are out on the roads again. And Jason Luber, our traffic expert, will be here to fill you in the whole way. Thank you very much, Nicole. All right.